Using the momentum the Buffaloes gained late during the 2016 recruiting cycle, Colorado started off its 2017 class in fine fashion on Sunday by gaining verbal commitments from Cherry Creek teammates Jonathan Van Deest and Dante Sparacco, two of the top eight rated in-state prospects this cycle, unquestionably the deepest crop of in-state prospects in recent years. Jonathan Van Deest has already been nicknamed Van Beast by Buffs fans on the Stampede Elite message board. He's been an absolute monster as a pass rusher off the edge for Cherry Creek the last two seasons. Van Beest has 5A state champion, two-time All-Colorado selection, and 28 quarterback sacks on his resume before even entering his senior year of high school. Van Deest earned an offer from Colorado last May and then worked out as a linebacker for Jim Levitt at one of the Buffs' summer camps last June. Really, the only question at this point is whether Van Deest will play outside linebacker or inside linebacker when he joins the Buffs. Van Deest got a chance to play everywhere from defensive end to outside linebacker to inside linebacker as a junior for Cherry Creek. Again, at the prep level, his bread has been buttered as a pass rusher, but Van Deest has accepted his potential as a linebacker and given his ability to make plays all over the field, he should really blossom wherever he lines up at the next level. Like Van Deest, Dante Sparacco is not exactly sure where he's going to end up lining up in college for the Buffaloes. And like Van Deest, Sparacco is a driven, matured, beyond his years type of young man. And both physically and mentally, with his facial hair and 6'4", 253 pound frame, Sparacco already looks like he's a Pac-12 football player right now. After both of his parents got jobs in the Denver metro area last year, Sparacco had to say goodbye to his friends in Glenwood Springs, and he also had to say goodbye to the quarterback position. Uh, he ended up having to sit out the first half of his junior year due to transfer rules, and then when he got in there for Cherry Creek, Sparacco played primarily as a blocking tight end for the Bruins last fall. Sparacco worked at both tight end and defensive end at one of Colorado's camps last summer. It was his performance at that camp that actually prompted the Buffs to offer. And again, he could end up on either side of the ball when he joins the Buffs. Having watched him at that camp, I would say the biggest thing that stood out was simply Sparacco's ability to move for his size. At that point during that CU camp, Sparacco did not have a lot of experience at other positions outside of quarterback, but he looked pretty natural at both of those spots and was very effective at the camp despite being raw in terms of technique. Two commitments does not make a class, but definitely the Buffaloes began the 2017 recruiting cycle with a bang.